What is good friends, welcome back to another live, we're using a team that Ski made. Um, yeah, I kept getting games and the opponents weren't that great or they had weird teams. Um, so, I kept restarting the recording and hopefully now we can get a decent game. Uh, I'm obviously not gonna stay in here even though he's most likely gonna go for rocks. Turn 1 and 2, nothing really happened, I ice beamed into the Finny. Um, assuming he's like Sashram and he would go for rocks, turn 1 he just switched into Finny. Like, I think it's either Thash or Tank Jump, the way this has been played. Uh, he has no ground immunity, but I guess I just defog here. He goes into Finny, I always go Coco on Finny. Um, yeah, I think... Did I already say it? The team is made by Ski, and um, I will link you guys... He made a team archive, I hope that's how you say it. I will link you guys that in the description if you want to check it out. It has some really cool teams. Uh, we're gonna HP... Well, he's going zone, probably, or Jump. I guess we're gonna U-turn then. Which covers the zone as well and now uh, we could just play it safe or we could get our rocks up well again he has no ground resist did I already say that? I think I did last time I defog because rocks up but now I mean yeah Pinsa technically is a ground resist but when it's not Megat it doesn't have the best bulk because this Lando's max attack as you can see that does so much damage this is a roll that I'm like I'm risking this I don't think he can Oko me anyway so even if he goes pin today, he will still take a good chunk. Okay, the roll was, I guess, in his favor because he takes that quite well. And I got a high roll the first time. Um, yeah, so basically, what was I going to say? Uh, I'm completely aware that these games sometimes aren't, like... Most of these games aren't the best quality, I'm completely aware. But my channel is just um, mainly tournament games. That's how it will always be, I think. And... I don't let it often, right? So even if I would stay on the same account, I would decay anyway. And like, I wouldn't really, what's it called? I would hopefully not flinch, but he would have to flinch me twice. Now I can go Coco here on the next one, because he's definitely specs, since I'm Spadev Gastron. Uh, and that also covers the pincer. I did not predict the uh, pincer, and now I think we could go for the Z move here. Do we have to? We don't have to, obviously. I feel like going for the Z move though as he goes zone, but that will do a lot. And then we can U turn into our Gastrodon pretty much for free. He doesn't, he can't do anything about this, even if he scarf him faster. He can't vault, like, unless he has HP grass, he can't do anything here. And now we can just click, um, uh, I guess we can make a double. No, we can just click off Quake. Kind of want to click Skull because it hits the pincer harder, but. Uh, if Skull doesn't kill the Finny, um, I would rather go for Earthquake to be sure. And also hit Greninja harder. Since I have a Spit Death drop, this is kind of bad though. Um, I want to go Hard Coco, but if he pumps, I'm screwed. So I'm going to recover the Scout, what he goes for. Hopefully no Flinch. Cool. And now I'm free to go Coco. Yeah, even if I would stay on the same account and like, let's say, let it up to 17, 18, 1900. Um, since I only upload like a live, sometimes every 10 days, um, sometimes once a week, sometimes even less. Um, I would decay a lot and pretty much be around 1500 again when I start recording, so sometimes I just make new accounts. Uh, but yeah, team is pretty self-explanatory. We have um, these three U-turn boys to get in life of Curum. Um, having a ga dark resist like Coco is always amazing, as you guys could see. I don't have to risk getting flinch or gas through that much because I can pivot into Coco. Um, we're gonna scout for Curum being... well... I don't think it's HP fire because he has a zone. Will he be Scarf on this team? He could be Scarf because he hasn't shown a Scarfer. Um, I don't need my trend for that much in this game, so I'll just throw my trend out. Uh, because I wanted to scout for him being Scarf, that's why I didn't U-turn. And now I will pivot. <laughs> do I go Lando or do I go Gastrodon here? I think I go Landorus even though it's a bit risky. Um, yeah, pretty much expecting either Fusion Bolt or Earth Power. And now again, we click... Well, we can click U-turn. Yeah, we obviously we click U-turn here. I don't know why I was going to click Earth quick. Um, and yeah, we can go Scissor and then click U-turn again. So I don't think he has HP fire because he has a zone. So yeah, U-turn should be fine here. And yeah, we have Curse Scissor to help versus uh, Coil Zygarde. Zygarde in general. Didn't really look at the spreads, but yeah, I imported everything in the calc in case we have to calc something. Now we just click, um, does U-turn kill? I guess we just click Earthquake. 
Because if this is dead and he's not HP5 Kyurem, Sizzle should be able to deal with the Kyurem. Um, though I don't want to go hard Sis on a potential Z. Yeah, okay, this lets the Pinsir in, obviously. And he could have off and predicted that. I should have not gone hard into this, but I still have Scarflander with Edge, so I didn't really... Like, I didn't think that through, but I have Scarflander with Edge to check this always. Um, also, Curse Sizzle is great on Lara versus these Veil teams. They usually only have like one or two months that can kill it and the rest of the team gets walled by Curse Scissor. Um, but yeah, this team was used by Taze in uh, Ulti vs Robopoke in top 16. The only difference is that he had a metronome torn over the lander if I recall correctly, right? There we go, Gastro here to scout for the Shuriken as he Dark Pulses. And now, I kind of risk getting flinched, yes. But maybe my best play is just hard Earthquaking. Because... Um, I only need this for the Greninja, I don't need it for the Kyurem. But in case he switched, uh, I wanted to recover first. Uh, I mean, yeah, he, do he does get the flinch there. Um, which is completely fine though, because we know he's choice specs, so we can now sack this. Uh, he gets his Ash, we can then go into Landris and click off quick twice. And then Kyurem will be in range from Bullet Punch, and yeah. If he switches hard into it, he will get 2 hit KO'd. And he comes back in Greninja, he cannot lock into a move that beats my entire team. If he locks into Shuriken, he will um, obviously not beat Kyurem. And I think Scissor probably lives Shuriken as well. Um, but we will end it off with the Kyurem here with a Ice Beam. <laughs> And oh yeah, I think the version that um, oh I forgot to say GG. We got this cool Curem background here. The version that Taze used also had V Curem, if I recall correctly, but it was made specifically for I think it was specifically for Robopoke. I don't remember. The Coco also had more bulk that Taze used. This Coco has spe special attack and attack investment, and I think it's minus Spadef nature. Um, but yeah, this is a team that Pokem used in his road to top ten. I don't remember all the sets. I'm not gonna look them up, I'm just gonna... Dude, Kyurem is so good in this match. Because we have HP5 for the Ferrothorn. Um, I feel like Kyurem is just a good lead here. Uh, we can just pop him with HP Fire. I think this doesn't have Gyro Ball, if I recall correctly. Um, he could obviously go into the Heatran here to scout for HP Fire. But um, I assume he wouldn't. And even if he gives a f gets a Flash Fire boost, that's fine with me because I do have... Um, I'm gonna pivot into Lando here. We do have uh, Gastrodon. Yeah, but that covers the Heatran and I just wanna defog them. Uh, anticipating the Tapu Fini to come out here or the Pinsir. Probably the Fini. Um, I don't think he would go Pharaoh. He could also go his own Lando. Exactly. Yeah, let's go his own Lando. I didn't think about that yet. But yeah, that makes sense. So this Lando's Scarf. He's probably gonna U turn here. And um, I think I wanna go into my. Coco because that doesn't let in the p well that lets the Pharaoh in which means he gets rocks or he goes for HPIs so he makes a misplay there now he's locked into HPIs Uten was really free for him so anticipating the Pharaoh thorn to come out um I'm gonna now go into my Heatran oh he goes Finny why the f in what world was Finny the play <laughs> what the fuck he thought it was choice or something we go back into Coco now on what is um, hopefully not a hydro pump, hopefully it's just Scald or Nature's Madness or Surf. I think it's Scald actually, right? The Finny. Um, I think I already said this, but Scald is not super bad on Finny because you can burn uh, common switch ins like Tornadoes and um, Tabu Bulu. And yeah, I will obviously. Um, hmm. I'll just go Scissor. Um, yeah, I guess I expected a bit too much from my opponent. <laughs> Not trying to be rude, but this place didn't really too make too much sense so far. So I guess I'll just... I won't care too much about this game. I will just start playing safe and like... Now I would double again so I don't take iron bobs, but like I'm just gonna click U-turn. Because I guess the chip on Pharaoh is fine. Because I don't want the Pharaoh to get free leftovers. And yeah, if we get the U-turn on the Tran, then we can... <laughs> Dude... I don't remember if the Heatran has. I don't remember if the Heatran has. Oh, it's Z move Heatran, no leftovers. Okay, so it doesn't have Toxic then if it's Z move. It's. These are Steel Z or Fire Z. 
And yeah, I'm giving a me momentum away, I'm completely aware. And you should just use it to grab momentum here. But I don't trust low ladder players, they stay in with Heatran so often on land. I think I've done it myself, stayed in with... I've stayed in myself uh, before with... What's it called? Heatran on landers. Oh yeah, we got a song um, playing by Matt Houston in the back that I haven't used in a fat minute in my videos, I think. Maybe I did, I'm not sure. But it's like a song I like a lot. And I might just play the same song the entire video because I like this song so much. Um, yeah, now we can pretty much just click Earthquake here, knowing that he's locked into Earthquake. And we have more Earthquake PP than he, he has, so he's forced to switch. We get to weaken the top of Fini and go back into Coco. It's going to just Madness. Um, or whatever, something like that. Uh, yeah, Fini is a little bit annoying for the team, but it should be fine. Um, also, I think I didn't play this optimal so far. Yeah, sometimes I'm also rusty because I don't play monster that often. He doubles back to land, though. And uh, we can probably go cure him. I don't think we need to cure him at full for anything. And uh, pretty much expecting... Yeah, I didn't want to go to my own landers, and cure him could still live an earthquake. And I was expecting earthquake U-turn or HP ice. And yeah, just in case he HP ice, I didn't want to go to this bad boy. We can now go for Fusion Bolt here, um, anticipating um, either Finny, Greninja or Heatran to come out, though Greninja wouldn't be able to kill me from this range. Maybe it would after Life Orb, I'm not sure. I didn't look at my Curum's nature. Am I minus Spidef? I might be minus Spidef. And uh, yeah, okay, I was gonna say... When these games are like not... If these games are like super boring on low ladder, I might just try to tell you guys some stories I guess from my life though my life is kind of boring at the moment but I have uh, a few stories I guess from the past it's not that many but a few um yeah we go Gastrodon we will now scout for Grassium Z um, though if he Magma stomped me I could not have scouted anyway but I'm pretty sure this is either Steel Z or Fire Z which is why I went to this he's either gonna go Ferrothorn always gonna grassy him here so um I can go to my own heatran to cover the ferrothorn exactly and I can um just get my rocks up he might stay in to get his rocks up or he might go into Greninja um yeah should be um fine this game also I hope everything is fine with the audio um I've had some issues lately when I tried to record it's like, what's it called? All of a sudden, I record, it's fine for 10 or 20 minutes, and then for the second half of a life I recorded, the audio was completely gone. My voice was super low, and there was only music to hear. Um, I couldn't go Lando here because now, if he, like, if he HP ice again, I can live one, and I'm pretty sure he wouldn't HP it again. Um, and yeah, we can just click off quick here. I guess if he stays in, I'm screwed. <laughs> kind of. No, not really. I can switch out the next turn if he stays in. But yeah, I want to off quick here, predicting the Ferrothorn. Uh, since rocks are up, Pinsa doesn't want to come out here either. Oh yeah, I predicted him to either Fog or something like that. I didn't think he would rock slide. Wait, was he in on Curum? I don't remember what he was in on. But yeah, we killed the Pharaoh off there. And yeah, also for when I'm getting my new computer, um, what's it called? I might uh, stream some games, but I'm not really sure what I should stream. So let me get, let me know what uh, what are you guys' favorite games that you play on computer? Um, well, I guess it could also be on PlayStation. Um, at the moment, my PlayStation is dead. Um, my brother uh, managed to somehow kill my PlayStation or our PlayStation, I should say. We got it for Christmas a few years ago. I think it's the old one, right? Yeah, it's a PS3. I would have. To but yeah, I might. I would think about getting a PS4 um, if there's like really good games for it. Um, but at the moment, I'm mainly saving for a new computer f at first. Uh, we don't have a pin to switch in. Uh, Scissor doesn't have much usage in this game. Well, it's good for Lando, I guess. But well, maybe Heatran is even less useful. I don't think I need Heatran for anything. I'll throw out my Heatran. I don't need him, li like I could pivot into my own land here anticipating the earthquake, um, but there's no point doing that, because if he predicts me, 
that would be bad and i just don't want to do it like i knew he was gonna earthquake but i don't have a reason to predict i'm basically sacking my heatran to get in my coco and now we click uh he's most likely gonna go land all right but i cannot play around with this pincer so and well i probably should have gone for my z move but i didn't want to z move into the lando though i don't need the z move for anything i guess it would be good for the heatran but other than that i don't need it since my Coco is now low, I guess it's kind of dangerous versus the Greninja. But I think I can still live with Dark Pulse from this range, so I can pivot into Gastro and always um, feed Dark Pulse. I can technically pivot back into this and then Roost. I think I will run the Kalk if it comes to that scenario because I didn't really pay attention um, the last time Greninja Dark Pulsed my thingy. Um, but yeah, Scald's free here. Um, in case he freezes me, I thaw out. And if he switches, Lando and Tren both get bobbed by rocks into Scald. Okay, now um, I guess he could freeze me at this, this turn because I want to keep him healthy. Since Pinsa is dead, um, recovering is free. Um, Gastro pretty much solos. Um, I know Earthquake from Landris does a lot, so I would potentially sk switch out on Landris if it comes out. Uh, I would probably, I would probably go for a recover once on Lando to see what he locks himself into. And on Tren, if he brings it in on me, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have Toxic, but I would still scout for it, I guess, if I have, like, if I'm feeling like it. Um, toxic might have also been the better play to wear him down, but Skull just covers him, him freezing me those turns. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't really know. Like, I used to play FIFA a lot. I'm pretty sure that maybe not what most of you guys would watch on stream let me just know what games you would like to see on a stream or what games you like in general and then i will look into it and if i like the games i will um potentially get them um which is obviously not now it's in the future and next year although um yeah i'm not really sure how i would do that like streaming games because um, like a lot of stuff that I would talk about um, would be hard for me to tell in English. It would be easier if I do it in German. So it would have e it would either have to be <laughs> um, with friends, I guess, the stream with friends. Um, so that yeah, they can just um, like help me. Like make it more fun so I don't have to because also when the stream is long like the voice dies out easily I feel right but yeah we get a real team here um, with scarf or band or Z cards uh, well Z could also be on this and then either this or this is the scarf uh, rocks on clef spikes on pharaoh surf hp fire ice beam roost ladder usually could become uh, it's usually not common on this type of build but yeah let me um does this guy have a good rank i mean i kind of stopped checking people's rank no he has a garbage rank <laughs> hello why is he 1370 like i'm higher than that Jordan stays matching me up with low ladder even though i'm not that low um but yeah i'm kind of low because there's a new account obviously and Heatran looks really good on this, so I'll just lead with it. I can taunt the clef. Obviously Greninja is like the one one I have to switch out on because um, he's most likely just gonna U-turn here if he's Scarf. Yeah, he's just gonna U-turn if he's Scarf. But in case he's Ash Ninja, I have to switch into Gastron to scout for that. Um, I feel like staying in though, because even if he's Ash, I don't think he would go for Pump. Yeah, I really feel, felt like staying in there, but yeah, he outplays me turn one, you can say. Uh, which is obviously a bit annoying, but it happens now. We will just exchange hazards. Should be fine. But yeah, this guy seems to be knowing what he's doing, but like his win loss is so bad. Like, how am I supposed to know he knows what's going on? And just go Coco here. Uh, kind of fearing a potential fight Z or life up superpower. Okay, did not scout for life up superpower. Was more so scouting for fight Z or just focus blast. Like, some fighting coverage pretty much. Goes to Pharaoh, which gives me. Um, well, he's gonna leech here, which is like really annoying. It's gonna go Lottie or Gren. Um, so I can go Gastrodon here. Goes Clef, and he's unaware Clef. Oh, why is Clef the Heatran switch? And dude, I hate ladder. Low ladder makes no sense. Clef is not a Heatran switch. In get the fuck out, dude. 
it's the other way around unless it's HP ground or some garbage. But yeah, um That's really annoying and frustrating to play against these people that make random plays, but I'm not gonna get too frustrated. I just wanna like I didn't feel like uploading a um, tournament game today. I mean, I still have some back, like in the back, some tournament games. I just have to upload them. But I know some of you guys want to see live. So every now and then, um, obviously, I know um, for like the 20 or 30% of my channel, maybe it's even more than that, that prefer lives over tournament games. For them, I have to like do a live every now and then, right? And just in general, I kind of like doing them as well because it's different than tournament games. Um, but oh, this bug in my room is so annoying. Like, what is this? I just taunt him. He's probably gonna roost, but uh, I just want to get an extra turn of leftovers, and then I should be able to um, go gastro here, anticipating a serve. Goes for T bolt. Don't really get that play too much. Um, I'm gonna try to burn the Ferrothorn one more time. These hands are really annoying. Um, that's like the one. Thing I kind of don't like about the team, I guess. Lando is not the most reliable defogger. When I build with Mons, like your Mozart or Pins, I always try to have really reliable hazard removal. So you don't get like destroyed by hazards. Though you can also say I could have played it different. Um, but like, I'm not gonna stay into one with a turn on the Greninja when it's ladder, and I don't know, like. I don't know how good the guy is, like I'm not gonna give him that much credit, like what if he just pumps um, things that I'm a flex dude and gonna stay in. I just feel like there was no point in doing that. Um, but yeah, the reason I'm magma storming even though it doesn't do much to Lali now, it does nothing because it misses, because I wanna get some leftovers back. Not really making too much progress here though. Like, I don't really wanna... Why? That sounded really weird. <laughs> I don't really wanna go Scizor. Because, what if he has HP fire? Now that he showed Calm Mind, um, yeah, I assume he's not HP fire. He's probably stored power or surf in the last move. Really weird lot he said, but like that happens when you uh, record on the lower ladder and he gets me again. I mean, not really gets me. I was kind of just forced to go for Toxic. Dude, why do I not have like a Magic Garden Mon or anything? Well... If I defog, he's just gonna get them back, but I think I have to defog, kinda. He's double hazard Ferrothorn. Um, but at least I can go Tren here. Yeah, I think he has just two layers back on the field, so... Um, I didn't really accomplish much by doing that. So Torn, uh... He might go for U-turn this time or knock or whatever, but yeah, U-turn. I couldn't really stay in there because my turn is kind of important, I feel. Um, yeah, we're going to make this a shorter life, right? Yeah, these games are long-ish. I definitely feel like I could have played this game better um, so far. Um, so like now if he doubles on my Sith with hazards up, that can be really bad for me. But I think I have to go Sith and... Roost. I can't really um, let my scissor get weakened because then Katana will destroy me if I do, like if I misplay around that. Dude, like, this team is so weak to fail with them with hazards up. <laughs> if I go Heatran here, I'm gonna get chipped so much by hazards, like it's not even funny in Belich Seed. The problem is, like, he has a lie that he can always go in on Tran, and if I double the Lando, I guess I can double the Lando, yeah, on Lari. Because he doesn't have Surf, probably, right? If he's stored power T-Ball, then he can't kill me, so... I feel like I had to make this double. I should have done this earlier, but I thought he would have Surf or Ice Beam. If he still has, I'm screwed here. But if he only has stored power, I should be somewhat okay by defogging, then going. Um, I think I'm going Tran here, because I want to cover him going Ferrothorn. If he has... Oh, I don't have Toxic on this. For some reason, I thought I had Toxic on this. My bad, guys. So I kind of messed up really badly there by thinking I had Toxic on Tran. I'm just so used to having Toxic on all my Trans. Yeah, so if he just stalled power instead of T-Bolting, I would have been screwed. But I just... The way I've been playing, I know you would do that again. Um, well, actually, Scylla probably gets destroyed by T-Bolt. 
Dort Paar oder Tibble, what does more versus Scissor? Um, stop power is stab and like I think base 100. So I might do more. I'm just trying to figure it out though. Um, so let's see. Plus two, right? Yeah, Tibble does more, okay. So I have to bullet punch then. This Tibble might kill me. I should have also I could have also pivoted back, but like this is fine. Now if I bullet punch he's in poison range. Um, I roost here anticipating the Pharaoh, but no. Just in case he goes Pharaoh, it would have been cool to get the roost off. And if he doesn't, um, I can just click U-Jump with my Lando here, which is completely fine. Like, I lost my Thither either way there. Um, well, no, if I bullet punch, I, I didn't. No, I would have, right? Yeah, but then he would have that poison. Right, right, right. So now, um, yeah, let's just... Madness Storm. Since we now have the Lari weakened, I could rock here breaking the Lari. Um, I probably should do that, but I feel like he might stay in for some reason. But yeah, thankfully I make the correct play. Though the Torn would have gotten destroyed by Magma, so I'm not sure why he thought Torn is the Heatran switch. And I guess I might have been able to barely live. Yeah, yeah, I probably would have been able to live. But um, go back to Heatran here, anticipating the Ferrothon to come out, and I guess we will um, get some juicy leftovers. And um, we will just Magma Storm this time in case he tries to stay in or go Torn again. And hopefully, we can connect on the Torn. Do a lot of damage. We get some leftovers back. Um, yeah. Greninja gets weakened if I hit. Nope. Nope. Oh, Gastro is super low, so I'm really weak to Gren now. I have to go cure him here to scout what type of Gren this is. Um, I think the card's probably the Scarfer and the like the way this guy has been playing. I didn't calc the card versus the Sis though. Ah, okay, we're gonna fusion bolt this Clef. Uh, he could just protect here though, so let's just go back into trend. Yeah, he could protect here and then um, next fusion bolt wouldn't do much because the rain ends. Uh, I'm gonna taunt here because I just don't wanna have him T wave or comment or whatever. Heal bell. Okay, so we get rocks. Trends back to full pretty much. We can um, just go Coco here. I don't want to risk letting this take his superpower. And now um, I will U turn here because no. I don't want him to predict my double, so I'm gonna roost. I don't want him to break my double into Heatran. Yeah, U turns. I was considering going for the electric move as well, but I didn't want to. Go for it into the Pharaoh Thorn, but I wanted to roost in case he superpowers break the Matran. Mm -mm -mm. So Coco's back healthy, which is good for potential Ash Ninja. You can Wild Charge here. Um, now he's in range of Z move, so he's probably gonna protect. No, he doesn't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> dude, you die to Z move. Like, are you gonna protect here or go feral? I mean, that makes me look like a punk if you. But I figured he wouldn't. So, misplay from him gives me the clef. Um. Oh yeah, I had like one story that is fun to tell. If if I know all the words, I probably have to like look up some words in a dictionary because. <laughs> if I tell the story and I'm missing like words in the middle of it, that would be kind of whack. This should die to U-turn. We got some attack on this boy, like 180 EVs. Yeah, I'm okay. Congratulations, you got iron barbs on me. Wow, you're such a good player, dude. Um, man, we just go for rocks here. He could stay in and knock me, which would be annoying, but he just forfeits. Okay, I will give you guys one more game, and we call it the day after that. Okay, damn, I unpaused it when I was drinking. Nice fail. Um, but yeah, it's fine. I mean, that doesn't really matter to me. I hope you guys are fine with. Wait, yeah. Uh, so we get like a really wild team to end it off, and. Kyurem is really good in this. I don't have off power though for the... What's its name? Torkel. Uh, but yeah, looking at it... Do I lead Gastro? Nah, I lead Kyurem. And I just... Well... This boy has good but death, so like Fusion Bolt won't do too much, right? I didn't really know what to lead versus Torkel. Because what if it has Toxic for Gastro? 
I could have just let Lando, but I was also kind of anticipating him to lead with his Lando, and I don't have HPIs on mine. Um, but yeah, we just wheat and torkel, which is fine. Um, he burns me there. Obviously annoying, but it happens. Um, yeah, again, I just hope the audio is fine. Let me double check and pause real quick. Yeah, I think the audio should be okay. Um, you can ice beam the Venusaur. I know I can live a sludge bomb even if he's life orb. And uh, though I might have, I might die to burn. No, I don't. Nice burn nerf. I was gonna say maybe I died to life orb plus burn, but I don't. So um, is he that Y or X or? Usually it's Y with Sun Team on low level and then chlorophyll this and this. So Gengar, um, gonna keep my Kyurem because. Unless he's energy ball, he can't really kill me. And even if he was Bex, I avoided to kill. Oh yeah, unless he drops me with the other option. Okay, he does have taunt. I was like thinking in my mind, oh Gengar gets taunt, but I don't think I would I didn't think he would have taunt. So he might pivot into Leafy on here, break the McQuake. Yeah, does do that. He reads me really well there. I'm um, fine with me. Does Leafion have any way to pressure Scizor? I think it has to be HP fire or um what's the other berry? There's like a move natural gift with the berry, right? It learns that, I think, yeah. It doesn't have to be that, obviously. I just meant to be able to touch scissor and need either HP fire or natural gift. So we're just gonna go scissor and uh, grab momentum here, assuming he doesn't have natural gift. <laughs> um, expecting one of the fire types to come out and we can now probably go Lando and defog. Though if he stays in this could be really bad if he burns me, especially because I'm locked into a defog if I defog here and then he can just get rocked back up if he stays in. Um, but I figured he would switch into Lando, um, though he goes Zard. And now I um, kind of just have to sack my Kyurem and he's Zard. Why? Could have gone Tran as well, but I just want to see what Zard he is. Uh, we can now go back to this boy and click Edge. If I had Toxic here, I might go to Tran. I would maybe. Oh, I can go to this bad boy. Um, damn. That puts me in a bad spot where I have to predict. I think I should have just gone to this boy and gone for Edge. Actually, I'm fine. I can U turn here. Or oh, HPI. Yeah, I mean, if I break the switch, I probably should have HPI. But U turn is like a mid ground because if he stays in, he would fire move, so I would pivot into Tran. And Tran can live a Focus Blast, I think. Yeah. And I don't think he would Focus Blast. Um, but yeah, that was still kind of weird. So we just go scissor and U-turn here. He chose to be leftovers. So I think this might be Defog Lando. Or is he Spin Torkel? I could be Spin Torkel. But some sort of bulky Lando to help with his Zygarde matchup. Though he also has Leafeon. But I guess that's not a great answer. Um, we will now go Coco and... I really want to go for my Z-move. If he goes Lando, so be it. Um, as he goes Gengar. So we, that's amazing getting rid of Gengar. Could have potentially saved my V, but don't think I need it for anything. Torkoal is already weakened. Oh. But I feel like it's gonna over predict here. I really want a U turn. But this one is amazing to revenge the Zard. I, I know he's gonna U turn here, so I'm gonna U turn for Diamond. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Um, I didn't do it. Um, I can edge here. I can just edge here pretty much. Oh, he stays in. What? He's not choice locked, obviously. He showed leftovers already. Um, yeah, I had like a... <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. For some reason, I thought he was locked in. I don't know why he went Zard. Oh, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Hello. What the fuck is he doing? Um, I really want to double on his Landorus. Oh my god, did he stay in? Phew. Why did he go Torkoal? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I can't predict low ladder. From edge week to edge week, just low ladder things. Um, like he knows I'm scarf locked into that. Okay, unless he predicted my scissor. No, then he would have stayed in if he predicted me to switch. Yeah, that's really bad because now he gets rocks back up. And. Okay, good. He doesn't get rocks. I think we can roost once. No. No. I don't want him to get rocks up. <laughs> okay, yeah, like, um... Hope you guys get a good laugh, I guess, from some of my plays that don't work out versus low ladder. <laughs> um... 
this bad boy should be walled by scissor and if he doubles to zard i can potentially sack um i don't know if he would have a coverage move like if he oh my god he does oh z move i thought it was natural <laughs> gift for some reason but it's just a z um sun's gonna end so you can just u-turn here no sun is still up what am i saying hello what am i smoking oh he has a damn broke right I didn't really pay attention, but I think he does have a damn bro. So you're gonna go scissor on leaf blade and then bullet punch. I don't know if I live a leaf or knock off here. Yeah. yeah, okay, so another misplay from me there, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I think I threw this game out, kinda. Did I? Yeah, I kinda threw this game out. Wait. So Tectonic Rush, is that dig? Z dig or what is that? I. Call me bad, but I don't know what these mons do. I think it's Z Dick, yeah. So I could have gone trend that. Uh, let me just get rocks up. We're gonna Magma Storm on his default if he's. Yeah, exactly. Please hit. Amazing, dude, this game. <laughs> uh, do I lose now? I think I might just lose this. <laughs> Obviously, also kind of my fault. Not only the misses were annoying. I definitely, I don't know, the misses were also annoying. Yeah. But like, what's he gonna do here? HP eyes. Just gonna toxic because I want that Zard on a timer. Um. Please connect. Can I hit like one move? Thank you. <laughs> and now I can throw my trend out pretty much. As, yeah, he doesn't predict. I wanna go. I don't know if Coco lives a focus blast. Trend might live one. Trend doesn't live one, unfortunate. So now, do we HP eyes? I think we HP eyes here, breaking the Landorus. <laughs> Gonna have to make a read at this point because this guy had to lock me. Um, but yeah, now we made the read and we're fine. <laughs> But, um, interesting, like, uh, is this only the fourth game, or is it the third game? I think it's the fourth game, and the video's like 40 minutes, I'm like really good at making, like, out of, what's it called? I only played a few games, but, like, the video is so long. I don't know how I always do it, but I thank you guys for watching. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know if you would like some story time videos, I guess, but I would have to, like, think about it, because I don't have that many great stories to tell. Uh, I can also try to do them during the show life, like tell the story while I'm doing the live, but then I would misplay even more. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, smash the like button if you any anyway, because you got till this point, right? So you must have enjoyed it somewhat. Um, great, great, Mr. My Archer once again, amazing. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what games can you uh, recommend for computer or PC, whatever, how you say it. Um, for when I get my new computer so I can either play them myself or stream them and other than that I hope you guys have a fantastic day uh, also let me know what teams you want me to use next uh, maybe suggest a mon that I can potentially build with oh uh, yeah I want to make a team building video please suggest me really cool mons like tech mons like they are valuable in the audio tier but they're not used much uh, if you have any ideas please suggest in the comments and I will try to build something with it myself and Ski Mast uh, team dump will be in the description down below. You guys can check it out. Peace out, friends. Good God. How to mess up your outro.